Comics have been around for ages and can be found all over the world. They come in all forms, newspaper, comic books, graphic novels, and now even web comics. How you guess me am Bizarro number one. Comics are one of the great art forms of the last 120 years. Comics began just about the same time cinema began. Comics as we know it, uh, probably beginning with the newspaper comics. The Yellow Kid in the 1890s in New York, uh, kicking off the newspaper wars, uh, various daily papers trying to up their circulation. So one of them added a uh, comic and to show off their color press, put it a uh, baby's nightshirt in yellow. And that led to more imitators, more comics coming out in the papers. And it became this way of really telling a story, delivering a message economically. There was the early era born of the newspaper wars, and uh, that lasted maybe 30 years uh, through the 1920s uh, and into the 30s, where you got comics like Little Orphan Annie uh, that were springing up. Gasoline Alley, about aficionados of cars originally, uh, and then became this family saga. Then, uh, in the 30s, they realized they could package them together into comic books, and this started to lead to superheroes as well, uh, Superman and Batman, and Captain America, who uh, really had a purpose during World War II. And so there was that era. After the war, there was a lot of despair about the horrors of the war uh, and the threat of nuclear annihilation. And so you got this explosion of science fiction and horror comics, uh, the tales of the crypt, uh, that, uh, that, that kind that very often had this grisly, denouement where somebody evil would get their just desserts um, when you know, somebody returned from the grave to uh, exact justice. And then the comics code came in. There was a lot of worry about juvenile delinquency. And so most of those disappeared as comics. Uh, but superheroes thrived, became very baroque in the 1960s, uh, including the weird, bizarro world uh, in Superman comics. And then there was an uh, explosion of underground comics. Uh, college students and hippies realized that comics weren't speaking to them anymore, so Robert Crumb and others started producing comics with very adult content. Uh, and then that matured and was met with a real explosion of alternative publishing of various kinds, some uh, rejuvenating old genres of superheroes, etc. Uh, and uh, some of them didn't have big budgets, so they produced black and white comics. So uh, artists were very attentive to value relations and balance of light and dark in their comics. Uh, and there was also a greater appreciation of comics history than publications like the Comics Journal began. Uh, the internet has proven a real uh, good venue for comics, for publication, for building a fan base. Uh, in a certain sense, comics are like the poor person's cinema, that you could make a movie, even a very you know, rich one that would demand a budget of many millions, uh, you could do it on paper and tell the story in the comics. So 
uh, it's a great, great time to be an artist, great time to be a creator, and uh, I think a great time to both study and produce comics. Uh, I draw comics because I think it's a very expressive medium. Uh, you can do a lot with it. You can do visual stuff, you can do writing stuff, and it's a nice harmony between the two different mediums that you can explore more than you can with just plain writing and just plain drawing. Why do I draw comics? I, I think it's to make people laugh or just to evoke some kind of emotion in the people because I think it's fun to watch people read your work and then see their reactions to it. Uh, just keep drawing, even if you feel like you're no good. Just keep practicing, uh, just keep moving forward. Don't restart something over and over again. If you don't like it, just move forward. And by the time you reach the end, you'll have figured out what you were doing wrong in the beginning, and then you can go back and fix whatever you thought was wrong in the beginning. I would just say to draw whatever you want to draw. Like, don't try to be somebody else with your art, because that's what I tried to do at first, and that was a big flaw of mine. Um, so to just do whatever makes you happy. The future of comics is up to you, you and your classmates. Uh, take, you know, take them someplace in the next 20 years that uh, I can't even imagine.